This composition of these trigonometric functions has a really nice shortcut because sine of x and cosine of x are functions that are continuous everywhere. So we can actually use a really nifty rule known as the limit rule for composite functions. Now this is just f of g of x, and I know our composition is longer in the original problem, but hang on for a second. What this is saying is that when f and g are specifically continuous everywhere, then what this means is that if I'm approaching a value of a, this limit is the same as evaluating the f function after finding the limit as x approaches a of this inner g of x function. But because they're continuous everywhere, we can just drop the limit altogether because this is no different than just f of g of a. So with that being said, if we want to call the original problem for sine of cosine of sine of x, the same as f of g of h of x, then that's basically going to be f of g of h of zero to figure out how to solve the problem. Pretty nifty, huh? So this is pretty simple because now sine of zero for the inside will give you a value of zero. And so we're going to plug that into the next part of the composition, the cosine function. And this just simply gives you sine of one.